Gonna do a four engine failure. Single crew, just me. I'm just gonna focus on flying and if I've got anything spare, I'll speak to you. So, autopilot's on, it's all good. Three, two, one, fuel in the water. Engines die much like before. The auto throttle asks for more power. There isn't any and it's gone. And remember, this time we're not gonna use the APU unless we absolutely have to. So the first problem is we lose all information with regards to San Francisco. Look at this. We've got no VOR information. The aircraft starts pitching down. And of course, I'm unable to use the trim wheel, which by in and of itself is probably reason enough to start the APU. This here was tuned in. I just I didn't give myself a flight plan, but I just did set it up for San Francisco. So if I go to... Uh, legs page. Of course, there isn't anything. Hang on. Let's go to waypoints. I'm just pulling back. It's really hard to do this. I'm just going to type in KSFO. Come on, enter KSFO. There we go. So with my waypoint now in... Continue to try pulling back. This is really hard when I can't trim. I'm going to see if I can go direct. No, 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 no. Come on. Clear. Direct to. Where are we here? K. I tell you what, the newer ones are much easier to use. There we go. Direct to. Enter. Accept. And this is just to give myself directional information. There we go. So actually. I need to be to the right. And look at this. I'm actually losing ability to control the aircraft. Look at this. At the speed that I am. So I'm going to have to start the AP. Uh, the APU is running. I'm going to have to turn the generator switches on. And then turn this switch on over here. Whoa. Pulling back far too far on the stick. My bad. There we go. Turn the sound up. I'm still not yet able to use that trim wheel for reasons unknown. See that I'm 19 miles from the airport. Actually, the elevator is surprisingly responsive, but the roll, as you can see, 10, is just not really having much of it yet. I got far too slow there. That was a big mistake. I'm going to have to turn the APU bleed on. We'll turn the packs off. And now I've got the trim wheel. So there we go. So there was a lot to do there. What's my height? 8,000 feet, 17 miles to go. The speed's about on. So despite all of that precarious manoeuvring, it's not too bad at least i can trim the wheel back now it's that's so hard to use the mouse to look around to do all different crew member positions when you've got to literally hold onto the stick the whole time but we are now proceeding directly towards the san francisco vor you see that it's 15.3 miles woodside slightly off to the left so if we were to look straight ahead we would expect to see San Francisco. In fact, I can see it here. We're not actually in line with any of the runways. You can see we're coming in sort of halfway between uh, all for the options that we were considering before. Hopefully we can make it. Speed we're at 250. But don't forget, we're pretty heavy. So if you take a look at where the flat retract speed is, it was at 240. So we're only 10 knots above having to extend slats. Those of you that you know, Airbus and Green Dot speed and that being best glide, you'll you'll probably be aware that best glide is always five knots, give or take, two or three above flat retract speed. So if I set my auto autopilot speed there, not that it's going to do anything, but it's going to give me at 245, that's probably my best glide speed for this given weight. May as well get rid of the flight directors because they're not going to be of any assistance.
So as I'm starting to get quite close to the airfield now, we've got nine miles. I want to start and think about my gear. I don't know how long it's going to take the alternative gear extension to go. Obviously, if I get too early, we're going to run out of height. But this glide profile seems to be working quite well for me. But I'm going to start with... Let's start with the wing left and right. Let's go for it. You've actually got to hold them down or it's just the arm. Okay. Oh, there they go. They're falling. And just to down. make it even more so, we'll put the gear lever down. Now let's go for the body gear. Extend. Same here. And then the same with the nose. Extend. So there we go. All the gears going down. And very, very slowly, but you can see they are eventually falling into place. We're now getting very close to the airfields here, but I'm quite confident energy-wise. If anything, we're coming in a little hot. I'm going to go with flaps one. Down, green light. We did have a little Flap bit of one. a gear horn there, but sounds like gear's good to go. I should give myself a little bit of an extension, and I'm almost considering making a turn for the runway that's 90 degrees to bleed off the energy because I've got about 60, 70 knots. You know, there's some going, don't do it, don't do it. And I've got a little voice in my head as well saying, don't do it. So I may be coming in a little hot here, but we'll burn off that energy by pulling a lot of alpha here. That's what I'm doing. And with that, Sink rate. I'm actually going to cross Sink over to rate. the other runway again, deliberately oh, so. Uh Putting in a lot of rudder as I turn. Pull up. Pull up. Let's go more flaps. And again, I'm not bothered about flap That's overspeed. Point. I'm still kind of hot here, so I'm putting in a slip now. I'm deliberately slipping the aircraft to try and lose energy. And I'm once again swapping over the runways just Sink to rate. add a few. You know, it's Sink not really rate. a track mile, is it? But it's uh, adding a couple of hundred Sink feet rate. on. Sink rate. Now let's slip back. Pull up. Pull up. And I've got to pop the boards. And I realise that you wouldn't Pull normally pop up. the boards while you're in the air, Pull but I'm up. far too Sink hot. Rate. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. We're down. I'm standing on the brakes and I'm going to go flaps full just to add a little bit of drag. I'm Flaps. stood on the brakes and I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Ladies and gentlemen, a complete dead stick landing in the 747. I had no idea if that was going to be possible or not. Clearly without the APU, not at all possible. The aircraft loses control a minute or two after you turn the engines off, which, again, according to the manuals, providing you keep the speed above, I don't know, it's about 200 knots, the windmilling effect should supply the hydraulic power to keep it going. Yes, that's going to die off once you drop beneath 200 knots, but we saw it die off even once we recovered back to 300 knots. But otherwise, I'm really impressed with that. Fearless, you've done it again. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, from the best, most realistic 747 that there is on any flight sim right now. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye. Fearless, you can send us the money for that little plug later. <laughs> And of course, Justin, it is really good. If you haven't already got it, go get it. See ya.